Hey guys, the objective of this video is just to set up the problem. We're going to be doing it for hogging ultimate moment. Okay, so hogging m subscript u means the ultimate hogging moment. We're also just going to find the effective width. Now, this is our profile. We have a T-beam. It's 1,000 meters wide, 200 deep, 400 deep there, and 200 deep at the web here. Now, because it's hogging, so it's going to pop up like that. So the top's going to be in tension. The bottom's going to be in compression. Now, that means that our top bars, 528, so these are N28 bars, are much bigger than our bottom bars. Our bottom bars are 20 mils. So we have bigger top bars because that's going to be where the tension is, which we need bigger bars to handle that tension. Now, we have something also called the stirrups. Stirrups is sort of what encloses these bars. Their main function is shear. So we're not so concerned about that for the moment, but we just need to include it in there because it's going to affect the dimensions of this T section. So stirrups is 500N12, so they're N12 bars, these stirrups. The last thing is the cover. Now, the cover is the amount of concrete from the edges to the uh, first, the first, where it first hits steel. So it fir it's first going to hit steel at the edge of the stirrup, which encloses the reinforcing bars, and that distance is 25 mils. The characteristic strength of our concrete is 40 MPa. It, the profile like this spans continuously with a span of 4 meters. So what we're going to be doing is, is we're first going to be working out the depth to the depth of the centroids of the steel. Okay, we're going to be doing that for the bottom. It's not going to be so apparent why now why we're doing that for the bottom, but for hogging you always want to take it from the bottom. So we said that the cover is 25 mils. So from there to the edge of the stirrups is 25 mils. Plus the stirrups are 12 mils, so we're going to add on 12 for the diameter of the stirrups. And to the center of the bar, we're going to add on the radius of the bottom bar. So the bottom bar is N20s, so we're going to add on 10 for the radius. So we have a distance of 47 mils. Okay? 